What is up, guys? How's it going? Who is in here already ready to go? I Swooper's already in here. What the what is this? Julian's here. Ender, Zach, Snowball, Neil, La Providencia, Marcos, Dirty Wookie, My LED Nation, Chris, K, Dan, Jason, Gus, and Call the Duelist. What's up, EX Gamer? How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing today? Turned off the Pat McAfee show's week six predictions. <laughs> I Swooper, I was actually looking at that like a few minutes ago, and then I was like, I'm going to watch it after the stream because I was going to see what they were picking. That's hilarious. Anyone else still waiting for Cyber Strike? Uh, I have not gotten one myself, Funk. What's up, Abraham? Hey, Javier. Will. Bula. Dennis. Greetings from Germany. How's it going over there? Prismatic. How's it going, man? Jesse. Him. Yu Gi Oh! Duelist. Lightman. The Raven841. What did I join with those eyes? <laughs> What's up, Chels? Sunny Luck from San Diego. Let's do this. We're going to need it because we might have an issue today. We're going to have to figure it out. What's up, Radovan? Chris? Back at it again. That, that, is in, that is indeed correct. App Store, more Germany. That's awesome. A lot of people coming over from Germany today. Love the episode with Simo. That was a lot of fun. It was. I was so glad that we got finally got to watch it because it was a couple of it was a couple of wee things ago, a couple of weeks ago. What's up, Sal? Dan, how's it going? What's up, Black Dragon? Blue EX. Enjoy the format of yesterday's video. I'm glad because it took a very long time. It took a very long time. Horus Ultimate. It sold for like 14k like over a year ago, so it's been it's been very expensive if you get the 10 and the reason is the soul of the duelist ultimate rares always have scuffing so if you actually get a nice one they're very rare there's only a few of them that have been graded 10 may the force be with you that's right floyd that's right i'm here for a live again after a while glad you're back man what's up matt you're for noble deck outside the airport in my backpack you left your deck oh that's a bummer that stinks, man. Coming over from Idaho. Where's everybody from? We got Canada. Adam, what's up, man? Let's pull the dragon. Horacio, what's up, man? Ryan. Moises. Portugal, nice. Hope you pulled the horse. That would be awesome. It's 11 p.m. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. We started a little early for you guys over in Europe. It used to be at like 5 and 6, for me at least. Seriously, though, love the channel and the content. Thank you very much, Raven. CMO collab episode was awesome. Well, there's more to come, so it should be pretty fun. Over three on foils. I swoop. Hopefully, today's the day. Benny S, thanks for the sub. We're looking for the Ultimate Rare Horus First Edition. If it gets a 10, it's worth tens, not tens of thousands. I mean, that might be a little exit. It's probably like 15 is what I would guess. That was my guess on it. It's very expensive. Thank you, Cyber. Cyber Cameron, I appreciate it. I think it should be a really fun series, to be honest. I think it's going to be really good. It seems like most people liked it. A few people didn't like it, you know, in the comments, but that's how it, just how it goes. But most people, I think, did. What's up, Clay? Reporting live from the Dog Pound. Pendulum and Duel Links still don't know how they work. Well, I guess you're going to figure it out eventually, you know, if you play them. All right, let's get some quick water. Okay, this is a box break. So, we listed this thing a few days ago. We sold it out. So, I was looking at this box earlier, and I was like, is this thing resealed? Honestly, I'm not totally sure, but I'm slightly worried about this thing. But the place I got it from, I would be surprised. But when I'm looking at this thing, and I'm feeling the wrapping, it's very, it's very something. I don't know how to describe it, but it's it's very, I don't know. But it, it, I'm worried, to be honest. I'm a little worried. So if it, it does end up being resealed, don't worry. If you bought it in the break, you'll get refunded and everything. But but I'm a little I'm a little nervous. that that's We got to get through that. We did have that magic ruler we opened and we thought maybe it was resealed, and it wasn't. So I'm hoping that that is what happened this, this time, unlike the LOB, which I thought might not be resealed, and it was. So... I really hope it's not, because that would be a huge bummer. First of all, for the live stream, everybody who bought one. Second of all, just in general, like, that's just a bummer. But 
the way that this rapping sounds, you guys hear this? It just sounds super like stiff. I don't know. It, it doesn't feel like normal rapping. Maybe it's a Soul of the Duelist thing. Not totally sure, but I'm a little worried. Nice comeback. Thank you, man. Uh, Rainbow Dragon. Uh, you're on the wrong set, but all right. <laughs> That's awesome, Matthew. Glad to hear that. Panda, thanks thanks for becoming a special footage member. That's awesome. I got access to emotes, badges. You've got the possibility of getting early access. We well, do get out early access to box breaks, and you could get you know some potential discounts. Let's pray it's not look sucks sus, but I think it's good that LOB was tough. All right, let's hope let's hope so. All right, all right. Thank you, Gus. Yes, we do have Discord, Alex. It is for members of the channel only and, and uh, Patreon. So it's a smaller smaller group of people. But yeah, we do have one. If you become a patron or you become a member, then you do. Prince of Darkness, thanks for the sub. So what do we think? Do we think, I mean, do we go into it right now? I'm. <laughs> do we wait for more people? What's up, John? John, I'm not sure that this thing isn't resealed. So there might be some uh, unfortunateness today. I I'm a little worried about it. So we're going to see. The goat. Okay. Ultimate insect level one. Uh, it can't be ultimate in this. This is supposed to be a hobby box if it's legit. So you won't be able to get that ultimate rare. Okay. It's time to uh, time to check this thing out, guys. We're, we're going to find out right now if it's resealed. And then if it's legit, we can keep going. But let's let's figure this out right now. Thank you, Will. Because I've been thinking about this since I noticed it when I took the thumbnail picture a few hours ago. I was like, this thing feels a little odd. So we're, we're going to test it out. We're, for, we'll take one more look at it. The front, it's just, I mean, look how damaged the box is. That's usually not a good sign. It's damaged on the back. It feels very, the, yeah, I'm almost, honestly, I'm, I'm honestly just thinking it's very, uh, I'm not feeling good about it. Calls me goat for my age, not for my status. <laughs> not true. You are the goat. You're the goat. It's not for your age. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. We're going to find out now. Hector. Wonder if you shout out my daughter, Liliana Garcia. She is here praying. You pull some epic cards. What's up, Hector? Shout out to your daughter, Liliana. Thanks for being here. Hopefully, she will bring some luck that we don't have a resealed box here. Oh, that wrapping just feels resealed. Guys, you hear that? Oh my gosh, is this thing resealed? Please just be something weird. Oh yeah, you guys see this? I think it's resealed. Oh my gosh. Look how, look how it's ripping. It's resealed. I think it's resealed. Who reseals Soul of the Duelist? Is this for real? Oh, maybe not. Wait. Did they just have a weird... Wait a second. Okay. It has all the packs in here. So if the if we don't pull like any ultimates today, then then maybe we can uh then then maybe it is, but it looks like there's all the packs in here. Wait a second. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so we have all the packs. That wrapping was extremely sus. Maybe what? Maybe there was like a hole in it or something and it made it like, I don't know. We're about to find out. If the ratios are good, then we're good to go. But that wrapping did, was weird. EU English never experience the difference in old shrink wrap. So this is the North American hobby code. So this should be a North American box. Um, so this should not be EU. It should be North American according to the, the thing. Let's check the packs and make sure they all match up. So if they're all 102497, then they're packs from a hobby box. So we're going to check all of them just to be sure because this is a box break. We want to make sure that everyone's getting at least... You know, a fair chance to get something. So, so far, they're all the, the right code and stuff. And you can't really weigh out ultimates in these sets. So, like, if if it they were, like, scaled, I don't, I don't know if that would even work with ultimate rares. 
it's possible that where'd that shrink wrap go? This does not feel right. You know what I mean? Let's compare it to another box I have. Here is another old box. This box, I mean, this is this is much different. I mean, it is comp it is a couple of years before, two or three years. So maybe at that point it was more normal to do that. I don't know. It's very strange. It's very strange. What do you what? Let me see what you guys are thinking. Forum box? It, no, it's definitely in A according to the to the uh, to the code. The code will tell you. All right, let's keep looking to make sure all these packs are good to go before we start. 102497. I open saw it anciently on my channel and the strength guide was 100% different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, the, I've never felt a real box like that. Just want to say you're the GOAT. Sold my collection to pay for accounting degree I don't use, but you got me back into collecting. That's awesome, big boy. Uh, not that you don't use your degree, but that's awesome that you know you, you were into it into accounting for a little bit like me. Thank you for the 499, man. All right, let's keep going. I I don't know. That's just the weirdest thing. I've never experienced a normal box like this. Are you going to keep those sealed or open them eventually? So these are supposed to be for a box break. But I'm a little worried about what's going on here. Pulls out Metal Raiders box. Yeah. Yeah, it's NA based on the code as well. So. All right. Wait. Maybe this pack is something. Wait a second. No. I don't know what is going on with this box. Okay, I mean, they're all a little bit like this. Okay. Bad storage. It, the only thing I'm thinking of is possibly the, the plastic was opened and then maybe like the... Uh, where it was stored, the humidity made the plastic all crunchy like that. That's the only possible explanation that would make it normal to me. Um, but I'm not really sure. Back of the pack is supposed to look like this. Yeah, they can actually look like this um, sometimes, it, which is kind of weird. It kind of looks weird, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So I really don't know what to think about this. But I guess we're just going to keep going because as of right now, we don't have any reason besides the crunchy wrap to believe those fake. So um, we're just going to start off and we're going to open it up. I could be paranoid after that LB box. If we pull two ultis and four supers, then that's normal. If we pull an ultra, ultra rare, then that's also normal. Okay. Could be a good omen, weird wrap, but an ultimate pull. Maybe we pull a... <laughs> Maybe we pull a Horus in here, which would be insane. So uh, we're just going to keep going, all right? Because if if we end up with like zero ultis in the box or something like that, then we will be refunding the people. If we have normal ratios, it's just a normal box break, so we don't have to worry about that. Just before we get started. All right, three packs for Edon. All ulti box. Maybe it was an error box and they put the wrong thing on there or something. Okay. Um, I should probably put just put these in the box get some more room here Well, here's the thing um the place I got this from it was It just not a resealer. It's not a guy that would re be resealing. So That's why I'm I thought for sure it was legit. I didn't I was just shocked when uh When I thought maybe there was issue. So let's just start. Let's just see what happens if there's anything weird We're, we're just gonna keep up with it now. So for now, these are for Edon. You know, assuming we have a, no a normal box and we actually get some foils. So let's see what we get. We got the Cemetery Bomb. We got the Dark Mimic Level 1. Mind Wipe. Let's, we can always check out the cards as well and see if they look like they've been messed with. Mind Wipe. However, the uh, the normal scuffing on the back. I, wow. They, these actually look good. They look better than normal cards. Hate, hate. Ojama King. I actually need one of these for one of my decks. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I might be hitting you up. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, that would be a cool ulti, but it's, it should not be in this box. This is supposed to be a hobby box, so we should only get supers and ultis as ultimate rare. So if that doesn't happen, then maybe something has been messed with. All right, two packs. 
If I start pulling Link Monsters... Yeah, normally if it's a reseal, you wouldn't have real packs that are sealed in it. That's why this is a little bit strange. Um, so I'm kind of leaning like maybe something weird happened with the wrapping. Okay, we have a taunt. Red Eyes B Chick. We got to level up. That's one of the best comments in the set. These comments are actually in great shape for Soul of the Duelist. So these are definitely pack fresh cards, which is promising for the box. Nobleman Eater Bug. Mind on Air. So we are starting with just two rares. So we can worry a little bit, but there's still a lot of time to go. Third pack for Edon. Let's get him something good. Have we been counting the cards? Have we been getting all the cards? What do you mean by first... Uh, by hobby box hobby box means that you can only pull supers and ultra rares as ultimate rares So Mobius the frost monarchs normally a super rare so you can pull it as an ultimate rare in this box But an ojama kings a rare you cannot pull it as an ultimate rare in this box So it retails the opposite you could pull ojama king you can't pull mobius You can but not as ultimate rare ninjutsu art of decoy howling insect Let's actually get something so we can like be relieved a little bit level up and a Rufflesia Seduction. So, so far, we have not pulled anything. That was the right number of cards and everything. So, as of right now, we can't really confirm anything because we've had all rares. Imagine if there is a Horus in here. I'm, like, freaking out about it. And then, like, it's just, like, insane. Okay. What's good, YouTube and Twitch? <laughs> the Welcome to the house is in the chat. All right. Even though it is Friday, he's supposed to be streaming soon. I I, I like the uh, sealed showdown as well, Sirthy. It's very old school and uh, just fits well for us old school people. All right, we've got one C up next. He's got one pack. We need somebody to break the streak and show us that this are actual legit packs. If they are not, that will be unfortunate. Here we go. Two Horus' servant in that one pack. Yeah, that that I've seen that before. Haven't multiple commons, so I'm not too worried about that, especially with these 60 card sets. Less than 4k to go for a retro pack two opening. That is for sure. That is going to be awesome. We've got a howling insect, ninjutsu art of decoy. Hey, Dane. The fusion weapon and the spirit bear. So we are 0 for four. Ratios are going to be six per 24. So about one for four. So we, we should be hitting something soon, assuming this is a real box. Where are my sleeves? All right, Dan, what are you talking about, Dan? All right, let's keep going. The goat is in the chat. You guys can uh, see his uh, his video with Simo tomorrow. It's very good. All right, speaking of Simo, this guy's name is Alex C. This is not Alex Simo, by the way, but this is one pack for Alex C. Non Simo. Here we go. Can we pull an actual foil? Which would be really nice if that would happen. Because so far we have not pulled one. Let's get a crazy ultimate rare. Cemetery Bomb. We've got the Armed Dragon level 10. Wait, $10 rare for real? The Spirit Barrier? Wow. Skull Dog Mary. Fusion Weapon. And there's your ultimate insect level 1. All right, okay. You know what would be really awful? If it, like, the last six packs had all the foils or something like that. And, like, the whole time I'm just like... <laughs> oh, all the hollows in the back. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. All right. Let's hope something's there. Rux and Special coming up. That's right. The Rux and Special. All right, that was for Alex C. We are, what, five packs in now? Peter, thanks for the sub. We are working our way toward that 100,000. We're getting close. We're getting close. Okay. Alex K, up next. Let's break the streak here. Let's do this. Rares are pulling a DJ Khaled. Oh, level up. That's a nice card. We got the Dark Mimic level one. The Howling Insect. Ninjutsu Art of Decoy. And an innervating miss. I'm not feeling good right now, guys. I'm not at all, honestly. I'm not feeling good about this. So far, we have six Ophers. The chase card we are looking for is the... What is he called? Horus. I was about to say Arm Dragon. Horus, level 8, ultimate rare. If that thing gets a PSA 10, it's insanely expensive. Insanely expensive. So, that is our goal here. Our also goal is to actually have foils in the box. And I'm not so sure that they will. Here we go. Hans D. One more pack. Or one pack for him. 
Just every time I open this, these packs don't feel like that foils in them. I don't know if you, you uh, I don't know if I can uh, describe what I mean. Like when I touch them, it feels like there's less cards. Count these cards with me. One, two. We got fusion weapon. Three. Hey, dang. Four. And there's a Horus, but it's the Black Flame Dragon level four. Okay, there's enough cards, so. What are we, 0 for 7 now? 0 for 7? Pyro, thanks for subscribing. I am very, very nervous. Honestly, very nervous. Okay, but we got to keep going. You never know. The chances could be, it could all be at the end, but it's not feeling good right now. All right. Spencer, thanks for the sub. All right, Drewy is next. Two packs. Let's go. Two packs here. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We need some luck. <laughs> we need some luck in the chat. Like, put your, put your luck here for Drew. Help him break the streak. Howling Insect. We got a Ninjutsu Art of Decoy. Hain Hain. Fusion Weapon. Arm Dragon Level 5. This is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. All right. But if we take for the bottom, maybe we dodge the actual foil. Is it the shuffle or is it actually scale? <laughs> Ross, thanks for the sub. Here we go. Two packs. Level up. Normally, I would not be worried, but I am worried right now. Chick, we got a taunt. Unshaven angler. Dark mimic level three. Guys, this is, this is looking bad. This is looking really bad. So just keep in mind, if you guys did buy this stuff and we don't get foils, you will get refunded. You don't have to worry. Also, hit the like button for luck because we need some luck right now, guys. We need some luck. Okay. This is great. We have Luis, one pack. Here we go. Looking super sus. Faux show. Michael, thanks for the sub. This is not looking good at all, guys. Because so far, we've opened uh, almost half the box and we have no foils. It's possible that that could just happen, but because of the weird wrapping at the beginning, I'm not feeling good. We got the fusion weapon, Skull Dog Marin, Arm Dragon Level Three. This is for Luis, assuming this is a you know a real a real box. We got an Ojama King. All right. The, on the bright side, if I do have to refund everyone, I've got my Ojama Kings. They were just very expensive. <laughs> on the bright side, which is not that bright. Okay. Out of nowhere, it'll be hits. All right. Way packs off screen and shuffle. Um, I, I don't think I need to do that. We, we're going to open them anyway, so we might as well open it. Here we go. Brian V. One pack. Okay, we still have 24 packs left. 100% of this box was scaled. Um, possibly. It's possible something happened. It might not have been scaled, but it's looking, looking bad. All right, thanks for the 10, Kobe, by the way. All right, can this be it that breaks the streak? I'm not feeling good about it. We got a sandwich, the Sangan, which is the Black Forest. Fusion weapon. We can use that with our sandwich and make a very powerful sandwich. Arm Dragon level three. Super rare? Maybe, maybe we just started slow. Or maybe they missed one. Who knows? We have one super rare so far. Okay. We have a super rare. I, I have hope now. I have hope. Super rare. Could this be it? Does that mean we actually have real cards in here? Um, I don't know what to think right now. All right. Uh, we have a super rare. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. You could have just left the super in there. We're, we'll see. If the ratios are messed up. Then we'll, we'll keep up with it. We have a hollow. I'm feeling a little better now. Feeling a little better. All right. But we're one for 11. We're one for 11. We, we still got to keep our eyes open. See what's going on. Maybe it's still sus. Maybe it's been messed with. But we have hope now. We have hope. It's better than 0 for 11. There should be six. We have one so far. So let's see. Maybe they couldn't tell it was a hollow. That's pro probably what happened. Gave you good luck by claiming a scaled Kobe. I hope that you jinxed us into it not being scaled. That's what I'm hoping happened here. Uh, still not sure if that happened or not, but here we go. Justin M, one pack. Thanks for the five, Kobe, by the way. Let's go. A thousand viewers. You, got, <laughs> you guys are here because uh, everyone's here because they think it might be scaled. All right, Justin M, here we go. Come on. Please have an ultimate rare in this, or two ultimate rares in this box. We got a mind wipe. 
Mind Crush. Dark Mimic level 1. Dark Mimic level 3. Okay, so one foil out of 12 packs. We did shuffle a little bit, so it's possible we just put them all into the other side. We will see. I still don't feel too good about it, but uh, here we go. Here we go. 12 more packs. This is a very expensive box, so yes, if it is scaled, it's going to be unfortunate. On to the next thing, which is Jared, Jared B. Jared B is going to save us here. I, I have a good feeling. Oh yeah, these need to go here. Put your luck in the chat, guys. Give me some luck out there. Have you even pulled one mind crush? Uh, I th maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe I haven't? Okay, two packs. All we need is that Horus, and we're back. We're back to, uh, to positive. Feeling good. Left side is going to be fire. Here we go. There's a mind crush, speaking of the devil. There's one. We've got a Nobleman Eater Bug, just in case you want to tribute a monster just to get two destroys. Um, probably not that good. Ooh, Bongzilla just became a special footage member for the fourth month in a row. Hope everyone gets some good pulls. I'll buy anyone. Ulti Master Vaz if they get it. That is a retail ulti, so we should not get that Bongzilla, but uh, that is a very nice card. Ninjutsu Art of Decoy. These are for Jaren. Howling Insect. Is it the next one? Yes. Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. All right. Uh, okay, just make it a little bit more nerve-wracking as we go. One horse level eight fixes everything. Yeah. V Kip, thanks for the sub. All right. Ninjutsu Auto Decoy. This is our second pack. We got Jared B. Howling Insect. The level up. Howling Insect. And we have Greed. Another super rare. So this this card's always very ironic, the greed card, and always comes in very bad Soul of the Duelist boxes. <laughs> okay. Two super rares. So it's not over yet. Hope is still there. If it's only supers or something, then that's going to still be weird. But we're going to keep up the faith that there might be a legit box here. Okay. So now we're up to, uh, you know, two supers. Habitually nostalgic. What's up, man? Friends of Culture and Ryan. Big fan of revs. Ryan told me to check you out and been watching all your videos ever since. Road to 100K. Ryan is an awesome guy. I've met him in person, and it was a lot of fun hanging out with him. So I'm glad that he suggested him. He also has a very cool YouTube channel as well. So thanks for coming over, Habitually Nostalgic. 11 packs and 5 foils. Let's see if we can do it. Leo, back at it again. By the way, thanks for the 999 Habitually. And thanks for the 1999 Leo, back at it again. Let's go. And that's a Euro, by the way. I'm learning my currency um, symbols now. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Two Owling Insect, one pack. Yeah, that's fairly normal in those very small sets because there's only 60 cards in this set. So that's, that's nothing to worry about, too, really, though. All right. Robbie, thanks for the sub. Okay, up next, Paolo T, the legend from Magician's Force. If anybody can bring us out of this worrisome um, potential scam that we're worried about, Paolo is the guy. He literally pulled DMG and Dark Paladin out of four packs. So, yeah, he's kind of got the luck here. <laughs> Daniel, thanks for hopping in. Appreciate it. Let's go. Let's get an ultimate rare. We have now have two foils. I'm feeling slightly better. Not better, but slightly better. We got the Art of Decoy. This is the most nerve-wracking box ever because I think it's resealed. Imagine we put all the foils on one side. It's just crazy. Another Howling Insect. Another level up. Arm Dragon level three. Will this be the ulti that we need? It's a real box. But greed is the ultimate rare. Oh my goodness. And check out the back. Yeah, it does have the normal Soul of the Duelist scuffing. Oh, this is one I pulled in my box when I opened one up in 2019. It, but for Paolo, one pack ultimate rare. I told you guys he would bring us the luck. Okay. That still gives us hope for the Horus, though. That still gives us hope for the horse. So it's bad and good news. Good news is it looks like the box is actually real and we just shuffled them all to the left, which is just weird that that happened. And But the bad side is this is an unfortunately bad ultimate rare. The greed ultimate rare. But we will sleeve it up and uh, yeah. And But also speaking of Paolo, I, we did send in his dark, his dark Paladin and Dark Magician Girl to PSA and I spent in five of my own cards. So we're going to have a cool PSA return coming up 
with our stuff at some point. And we checked him out early and all that stuff. But, oh, agreed. Agreed. Unbelievable. I always pull that thing. Okay. You pulled greed in your last time with the set. Dude, this card is evil. Geo Greed just subscribed. Okay. All right. It's a real box. That's unfortunate. Uh, we need something good. All right. We can breathe a sigh of relief that it is a real box. That wrapping was weird, though. That is weird. I'd rather get a resale pack than a greed ultra or ulti. Yeah, honestly, it's very painful. All right. We got how up next. Two packs. It, but one pack magic is pretty good. Let's go. How? Let's go. Can you pull? Okay. Let's be honest. Not just the Horus is awesome. Now that I know that it's actually real, we can talk about what we want. Arm Dragon level 7 is incredible as an ultimate rare. There's also the, what is that Red Eyes spell card? Where it's like, uh, it's the Red Eyes attack. It's like Fire Inferno Fire Blast. That's what it's called. That is incredible as an ultimate rare. So there's a lot of really cool stuff. Mobius is all obviously really cool as well. So let's see if we can get those. Skull Dog Mirror. We get the Arm Dragon level 3. Cemetery Bomb. Arm Dragon level 5. Okay. Just a regular rare on that one. So we're back to the rare train. Here we go. Horror is inbound. Let's go. <laughs> we got to believe. Get that $15,000 card. Even though with that scuffing, if it's similar to that, it will not get a 10 like the greed. But we ne you never know. We got the level up. Red Eyes V-Chick. This is for Hal, the legend. We got a taunt. Unshaven Angler. And the hammer shot. We got a Horus Servant, Element Soldier, and Heavy Slum. Okay, so uh, we're at, what, three foils right now? So we got two supers, two ultimates, and then we could possibly get a ultra rare, but it's not guaranteed in these in these boxes. So we're hoping for seven foils. But with how this is going, I'm not really expecting that, to be honest. I thought it was Horus. Yeah, dude. When you see that, uh, when you see the effect monster, you're like, oh my gosh. And then it's not it. And you're like, oh my goodness. Okay. Hal, thank you for being here, as always. Last pack magic. Can it happen? All right. We got Kevin A up next. He's got three packs. He's trying to... He's got good chances, assuming we got, you know, another three, four foils in here. Out of the, uh, what, seven packs we have left? Okay. Greece, oh, Greed Near Min is 70 now? Okay. That's not that bad. Because back when I pulled it, it was $2. So that's, that's a lot better, you know, pulling a $70 card. Okay. Feels a little better then. Yeah. I, I just always think of it as that $2 card I pulled. My, the box was only 300 bucks when I opened it, though, so it was a little bit different. Okay, we got the Mind Wipe, got the Hate Hain. Let's get something good. We got the Mind Crush. There's another one for uh, whoever's looking for it. Here we go. Kevin. Horus the Black Flame Dragon Level 6. This is a really cool super rare. Okay. Is he leading up to that Level 8 Ultimate Rare? This could also be an Ultimate Rare. This would be a cool one as well. Remember last time... I've kind of noticed this with hobby boxes is often that you pull a super rare and then pull the ultimate rare as well. The same card. So this would be a very cool one to pull as well. I'm in my opinion. What does this level six go for an ultimate rare? Does anybody know? Can check TCG player or something? I bet it's a, a bunch. And now that we're here talking about soul of the duelist, I got to tell my story about my Horus. So back in 2018, I think a friend of mine, Gezi, who you guys have probably heard of if you're into the Instagram community sold me a Horus level 4, 6, and 8, all Ultimate Rare First Edition. They were near mint. They were sold to Duelist, so they had, did have some stuff on the back, but they were near mint. He also traded me a, what, what's the uh, Sacred Phoenix of Nethys Ultimate Rare First Edition. It was $125, plus I traded him a PSA 7 Man Eater Bug First Edition from LOB. The package never arrived. It got lost at USPS, and they never found it. Yeah. And now this card is worth insane amounts. So... Horus is a little bittersweet for me. It's a little bittersweet. So hopefully we can pull one for somebody and it will not get lost. Also, my friend Fiche graded a PSA 9 and had somebody steal it, unfortunately. So Horus is a very, yeah, so some very rough stories with it. We have a Dark Mimic level 1. This is Kevin A. second pack. Howling Insect. He's got one super so far. Art of Decoy. Let's get an Ultra as well. That'd be awesome. Mystic Swordsman level 2. This card's really good in general. Like when you play it, when it in a format where this is used, Card's incredible. Just destroy the face down. It's really good. Okay. Sacred Phoenix looks incredible in Ultimate. It was all it was a Euro print. It was it was amazing. 
All right, Kevin A, let's go. Actually, I don't think there is a Europrint. Maybe maybe we thought it was a Europrint at the time. It turns out I don't think FET has Europrint. Let's go. Kevin A, third pack. Let's go. Can't trust the post office. Mind Crush, a Dark Mimic, level one. Yeah, they, they did everything. They checked everything. Two-man cell battle. Ectoplasma Ultimate Rare. Remember what I said about the Super Rares? Pulling the same Ultimate Rare. Ectoplasma Ultimate Rare. Okay. That probably might end our chance at the ulti. But we still have a chance at an Ultra Rare Horse. So we're hoping for that. Maybe we will get lucky and have a third Ultimate Rare. But that's probably not going to happen. Ectoplasma I actually really like. Because it's iconic from the anime. I would much prefer this over a Greed. Sorry. So, <laughs> sorry about that, Paolo. But uh, I would, <laughs> to be honest. But that's a pretty cool card. Near Mint First Dead Ultimate Horse is $250 to $300. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. That's nice. Okay, it does have EU print. Okay, I could be wrong about that. All right. Well, two for three for Kevin. That's pretty good. We got two ultis. No, it's not the worst box ever, Kobe. You got to go watch my video from 2019 20, 20, uh, or 18. It was worse. <laughs> if we still get an ulti, though, or an ultra, this this could be okay. We get it a uh, Horus Ultra Rare. We can do this. Let's go. It was real. <laughs> so there should be, what, one more super rare in here? And maybe an ultra rare. That's what we're hoping for. Or the lucky third ultimate. It has happened before. Next up, we have Rodrigo G. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Can we pull ultra rare Horus? Noble mini near bug. We got the art of decoy. Howling insect. Level up. Innervating Mist. So we're back onto the regular rares. Unfortunately. I am hoping for an ultra rare. Can you leave the pulls in sight? No, because I have to pack them up for the people that bought them. Uh, Jose, thanks for the sub. Sod is very hit or miss. It's a very hit or miss set. You either hit something big or you hit something rough. There's a few really good cards, and then some of the stuff is not, not too great. Okay, final person, James B. Three packs. Let's get him a Super Mobius. Let's get him an ultra rare. Horus the Black Flame Dragon, or any of the Ultras are actually pretty cool, except the Swordsman. That's what I got in my box. Um, he, he's kind of cool, but... Okay, let's go. Dark Mimic level 1. We got a Mind Crush. Mind Wipe. Three packs here. So we got a Red Eyes Beat Chick. No. No, this is the worst Ultimate we're ever. At least we didn't get this card. Null and Void. It's just a Super, so we're still hoping for that Ultra. Null and Void is in every stinking sod box. How is that possible? Okay. Two ultimates and one. Either two ultimates and one or two ultimates and zero. For some reason, they made ultras twice as hard to pull out of this, which makes sense. It makes absolutely no sense to make an ultra harder to pull than an ultimate rare. Okay. Two packs. James B. Here we go. We have Skull Dog Marion. We are hoping for an Ultra Rare. Come on, Unshaven Angler. They are not always guaranteed, though, for some reason. I don't understand why they did that. Sandwich and Arm Dragon Level 5. I thought that might be it. The Trojan Horse. We've gotten a lot of Arm Dragon Level 5, which is actually a very good card. Um, Very strange, though. You just got your. Uh, you probably missed them, uh, Sacred Lugia. This is the last pack for James B. We're hoping for an Ultra out of this pack. The box is null and void. Oh, man. I don't know. Are you... Did you get the notification, Awen? I'm not sure if it's sending out notifications. It's being very weird. All right. Dark Mimic level one. We got the Howling Insect. Ninjutsu, Art of Decoy. Hey, Dane. What? The third... Ectoplasma? What is this? <laughs> Three ectoplasma? Is that five super rares in this box? What in the world? Three ectoplasma. <laughs> All right. Well, that's really strange. That is really strange. Null and Void is not the best only based on the fact card looks super cool as an ulti. Greed just isn't cool or good card. Well, greed is really bad. That's for sure. But... But Ectoplasma is cooler than Null and Void. Like, this is cooler than that, for sure. In my opinion. Thanks for the five. 
I, because this guy was used, you know, he's using, he's actually like kind of a cool card, you know, an interesting mechanic. That's what I like about it. But man, that that's just rubbed in our face. But two for three for James. So I, I guess that's not too bad, but they're not the best cards ever. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a weird experience. That was such a weird experience. The whole time we thought it was not real, then it turned out to be real, and then it didn't really give us the best cards, to be honest. That is GX for you. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, absolute hit or miss. It's either, even though it's not technically GX, but, you know, ultimate rare, when there's only ultimate rares, is what I'm trying to say. Hello? Uh oh. Okay. Are you coming in? Okay. <laughs> All right, my chills. All right, so um, yeah, that was that was weird, but uh, thanks for guys, you guys for coming. It was fun. Chels almost made an appearance, but she decided not to, which is unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> so that's really it for this one. Uh, unfortunately, um, we didn't get anything that good. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys later on the next one. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!